All right, Seal Guy, I've had enough of your antics, man. We're not going to do what you want to do anymore. We're going to do what we should have did in the first place, and that's going to come together, and we're going to put our hands to pray. Man, I right, Debo, you over here trying to tell me what we're going to do. Hey, man, first off, who are we going to be praying to? Don't worry about who we praying to, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, it's going to work. Hey, man, you said it don't matter now, but watch. Matter of fact, man, take your do-rag off, bro. You know you can't pray with your do-rag on. Hey, I'm not taking my do-rag off. Another guy doesn't take his do-rag off in the presence of another guy, you know what I'm saying? All right, but just like last time, you blamed it on me. If this don't work and we can't find this heart brush, it's going to be on you, bro. Hey, don't even worry about it. It's going to work, man, because I'm the silk guy, baby. All right, so we just want to come and humbly ask. All of these people have been pestering myself as well as Brush King. They've been saying, Hey, J. Lou, where's the heart brush shit? Help us find this brush to release the wrath of heart brushing into the wave game. I don't think these mortals understand the power of the heart brush, but they've been asking for it, and I think it's just time for them to receive it. Brother, it is time for the mortals to pay. My child waits to do your will. Release the Kraken! Yo, what it do? It's your boy J. Lou, and you guys are just in time for something new. All right, now the moment that you all have been waiting for in today's video, what I'm going to be talking about, like I already mentioned in the intro, this is going to be the Royalty 711. Now, with that being said, this is the first seven row hard brush within this 52 shades of royalty release project that Brush King has been doing. And I know a lot of people have been waiting for this. So let's not waste any more time and let's just get straight into it. All right. So when it comes to this brush, like I already said in the intro, I had to nickname this bad boy, the Kraken. You know what I'm saying? If you haven't seen the movie, basically the Kraken was this underwater sea creature that was once it was released, it would just cause a whole bunch of damage and havoc all over the land. But one thing I want to say is a lot of times people be asking Brush King to drop a a hard brush but whenever he drops a hard brush people be running scared because at the end of the day if VK is gonna drop a hard brush it's gonna be a hard brush so with that being said let's get into the review of this brush and let me go into a little bit more details and comparison for you guys all right so when you look at this brush as you guys can see and the main reason why I, I kind of like thought of the cracking was because this brush has that nice deep blue as well as the silvery streaks within it you know what I'm saying and then when you look at the bristles of course the bristles are black but then I like the fact that the logo has that accent of black as well. Now, this paint job goes hand in hand with the original royalty paint job, which means that it's hand painted and the paint is blended. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, every single brush that is made, it won't be the same variation. Sometimes you may get a darker blue. Sometimes you may get a little bit more silverish look to it. But with that being said, this brush just looks really, really dope. But it's not about how it looks. It's about how it feels and what it can do for your hair. Now, if you guys don't know, I already dropped a video in regards to how to properly use a hard brush that I link right above here. One thing that I want to mention is a lot of people was thinking that a hard brush wasn't going to come because I had scalped my hair and everything. But what you guys don't know is I was able to test these brushes back when I had 720s at lower levels as well as high woofing levels and everything. The benefit of that, it allowed me to be able to note every single brush. So with that being said, when you look at these bristles, these bristles are a mix of boar bristles as well as nylon bristles. And like I said in the past, the only way you can get a hard brush is if you mix it with nylon bristles. 
bristles. You want to keep in mind that whenever you use a brush that has nylon bristles in it, that brush is going to lift the hair off of your head. And at the same time, the purpose of a hard brush or a medium hard brush is to help stimulate your scalp to promote blood flow. Now with that blood flow, what that's going to do is that's going to produce the sebum that's on your scalp. And then from there, you'll be able to use a medium brush to distribute the oil, follow it with a softie and everything like that to polish your hair with the oil that was distributed. Now, when I first got this brush, the first thing that popped up into my mind was the fact that just the body of this brush looks and kind of reminds me of the OG8159. If you guys don't know what that is, that's basically the Diane version of a heart brush and I actually have one. So let's just compare both of them. This right here is the Diane OG8159. I believe this one is the Taiwan edition. Yeah, this is the Taiwan edition brush. And one thing I learned is that there's a Taiwan edition and then there's a China edition. When you compare the original OGs, the Taiwan edition was softer in comparison to the China version of the heart brush. But whenever I compare both of these brushes, they have a very similar feel. But one thing I want to point out is when you look at this brush, these bristles, as you can see, even though they're both seven row brushes, just looking at the bristles on the Diane, you can see that the bristles just, they easily get spaced out. Now I'm not going to say it's because this brush is new. That's the reason why these bristles don't look like that. But one thing I know about Brush King hard brushes that I have with other versions is bristles typically maintain the form that they have. You know what I'm saying? So that just speaks to one aspect of the quality is with this hard brush, one thing I noticed over time is that it became softer the more I brushed my hair, especially if I brushed it while my hair was wet or something like that. But even with my old school Torino Pros and Royalty brushes, the brushes still always look new. Now that just may depend on the use of it. When I had 720s, I mainly used medium hard brushes and hard brushes because I was testing out this theory of being an uncompressed waver or decompressed waver versus being a compressed waver. I'm going to have a video coming in the future. Like I said, I've been just working on a whole bunch of things for you guys. But when it comes to these two brushes, the feel is very similar. If I brush this along my scalp, and then I use this bad boy, they feel very similar. This one feels slightly harder, but the only reason why that may be is because I've had this bad boy for a while and I've broken this one in. Now, in comparison to another hard brush that you guys may have or know about, I want to compare it to the OG Torino Pro. This is the hard brush. You can find this brush on Amazon. I'll make sure I leave the link down below if you guys are interested in purchasing this one. The biggest difference is that this one is a nine row hard brush and this one is a seven row. Now, I know a lot of people were looking for the royalty hard brush because the bristles are spaced out a lot more within the seven row brushes, as well as the fact that this there's a different body style to both of these brushes. Whenever I hold the Torino Pro, this one feels a lot more solid and bulkier in my hand. But whenever I hold the Royalty brush, it just feels a lot more sleek in, in, in the palm of my hand. So that may be one of the reasons why you guys were looking for this. But at the same time, when it comes to the bristles, I honestly want to say these bristles are a lot harder than these bristles right here. And I believe on Amazon, BK has this brush listed as an extra hard. As I can recall, I believe this one is just simply a hard brush. So that would justify the fact that this one is not as hard as this OG Torino Pro. Now, with that being said, another thing I'm gonna bring to you guys is something from the past that I believe would really help a lot of you guys out when it comes to brushing your hair. And what that basically means is pressure distribution when you're using a brush. So with that being said, let's get into some brush work. All right, so as you can see, I got my mirror and everything like that. One thing I wanna let you guys know, if you haven't watched my Starter from the Scalp video, I'll make sure I link it right above here. In that video, it took me at least five weeks to be able to see ripples. Now for me, I went back to see how long it's been since I've cut my hair. So it's really only been about three weeks from the scalp for me. So within the next two weeks, I should start being able to see ripples. But I'm going to show you guys right quick how my hair is looking. All right, so as you guys can see, on the sides, I'm kind of seeing some ripples form up right here, but it's not really any true definition. But when it comes to using a hard brush, the one thing I want to point out is it really does matter in regards to how you hold your brush and how that affects the pressure distribution on, onto your scalp. Now, when it comes to pressure distribution, this is some knowledge that I learned from Young Wavy back in the day. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people think that all you got to do is just grab a brush and just brush your hair. That's what all these other people are telling you on YouTube. It's more than that. At the end of the day, it's about how you hold the brush and how much pressure you apply. Now, when it comes to using a hard brush, you really want to brush your hair slow because the main purpose of a hard brush is to stretch your curls out. Now, if you brush fast, what's going to happen is your curls are going to snap back. You can kind of think of it as a slinky. You know what I'm saying? If you pull a slinky and, and release it, it's going to come back. But if you pull a slinky and you hold it for a very long time, when it comes back, it's not going to be as compacted as it used to be. You know what I'm saying? So the same thing with a hard brush, the slower you brush, the better your curls will be stretched out. Now, 
Now, when it comes to pressure distribution, it really does play an important factor in regards to how many fingers you have on the on the back face of the brush. Most times when I'm using a hard brush, I hold my hard brush like this. And I want to point out the fact that I'm only I only have one finger on the back of the brush. Now, sometimes what people may not realize is they may hold the brush with two fingers like that. By using two fingers, you're going to apply more pressure onto the brush whenever you're brushing your hair. Other people, instead of holding a brush like this, as you can see, my palm is a little bit closer towards the neck of the brush. Some people actually hold their brushes just like this. If you hold your brushes like this, you're putting as much pressure. This is the most pressure you're going to put on your brush whenever you're brushing your hair. And one of the issues with that is if you brush one side, like most people are right handed and they brush their hair, what they will do is they'll start off and they brush their hair like this, right? And they'll have their whole hand on the brush. But then when they go to their left side, they can't brush like that. So what they'll do is they'll grab the brush and then they'll brush their left side just like this. And what happens is you go back to using one finger on your left side and therefore you're applying less pressure whenever you're brushing your hair. Now, I know a lot of people have been asking me, Hey, yo, J. Lou, can you make a video in regards to how to make your weak side better? I'm gonna definitely make that video, but this right here are some of the gems that affect how your weak side is formed. If you're using your right hand, which is your dominant hand, and when you're holding your brush, you're holding your brush like this to brush your hair. Of course, if you brush your left side, even if you brush way more on your left side like this, you're not applying as much pressure onto your scalp as well as your waves. And that really does affect how your curls are stressed out. So one thing I want to point out in this video is whenever you're brushing, take time. Make sure you brush your hair slow and make sure you, you pay attention to how you brush. Whether if you use one finger, whether if you use two fingers, whether if you grip the entire brush like that, or if you only brush with the handle. So with that being said, when it comes to using this hard brush, like I said, what you want to do is put it on your scalp and then just let the bristles do the work as you pass it through your hair. When it comes to pressure distribution, another thing you need to understand is when you're brushing your hair, look at how your scalp looks before you brush. Your scalp should be clear, kind of white looking and everything like that. But when you start brushing your hair and you start brushing your scalp, your scalp will start to turn red. The main reason why it's turning red is because like I told you guys, it's gonna promote blood flow in your scalp. And that's all what you're seeing when your scalp starts to turn red. Now you really want to keep an eye on this because if you don't, you can mess your scalp up. For me, when I'm using a hard brush, as you can see, man my hair is not even at a two but i can use this brush even at my length to be able to get the benefits of a hard brush because of the pressure distribution system that i just told you guys as well as me paying attention to how my scalp looks now as you can see in my crown area because your crown is the thinnest part of your uh, of your of your wave pattern you can see that it's very clear and it's whitish in my crown area but if i start brushing with this bad boy one thing i'm gonna point out to you guys is my crown will start to appear a lot more red All right, so in order to show you guys that my crown is a little bit more red now, I'm just gonna brush like that. And you may be able to tell, you just try to cause some kind of separation. But my crown, my scalp is a little bit darker than what it used to be. So when I'm brushing my hair, that's what I'm looking for. Whenever I'm creating lines of separation, when I'm using a hard brush, I'm looking to see the coloration of my scalp. If it's still white, that means I can still use a hard brush. I may need to apply a little bit more pressure. But if it start turning red, then that lets me know, okay, I'm using the right amount of pressure and I may wanna stop using my hard brush a little bit all right now with that being said the last thing i want to say is in wrapping up just to make sure you guys remember it a lot of times when i'm brushing my sides on my top or whatever i brush using that one finger especially using a hard brush and then when i go to my left side i do the same thing but sometimes when i brush my crown what i'll do is i'll flip the brush like that and because i have it like this whenever i'm putting the brush against my scalp i'm putting more pressure onto my scalp you know what i'm saying just because you have more weight on it now pressure distribution also applies to how much force you put onto the brush even if i'm holding a brush like that if i press harder that will affect it as well the last thing i want to say is it's not about how much you brush it's not about brushing for a certain amount amount of time it's not about the, the number of brush strokes and everything like that it's more so about how consistent are your brush strokes as well as the pressure that you're applying to your scalp to be able to create your waves now with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed these gems you know what i'm saying big shout out to young wavy i know i have a lot more content for you guys coming up but at the end of the day, it's your boy J. Lou. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any comments, make sure you leave them down in the comment section below. And make sure you thumbs up this video. Share it with your friends because a lot of times people are looking for these hard brushes and then whenever BK drops them, nobody wants to buy them. You know what I'm saying? I know summertime is coming up. What that means is most time people, they want to rock low cuts and stuff like that. But if you're somebody like me, I try to wolf throughout the entire year. What that basically means is you don't have to wolf very long during the summertime. But what I may do in the summertime is I'll at least wolf for four weeks. With that 
being said, knowing how to use a hard brush will help you in those four weeks to be able to make progress as fast as possible, even though you're not going into a deep wolf session. With that being said, it's your boy Jay Lou. Slow. Come bristle me, a do what I do. Lou is the name. I'm so off the chain. Torino is the brush. Do wet wood grain. Brush a wave I have some. Brush a wave I have some. Brush a wave I have some. Brush a wave I have some.